Hey everybody, how y'all doing today? My name is Tay, and welcome back to my channel, Inspire Me, where I talk about current or labor topics, all from a godly perspective. And I just wanted to talk about um, dating people with disabilities. Now, I really wasn't planning on coming today recording. It's like on the spot, but um, I wanted to talk about this because I was listening to, you know, someone's video, and they're disabled. And I could kind of relate because, you know, I'm disabled. Now, unlike them, you know, their disability is noticeable. You know, they're pretty much, um, you can tell that they're disabled, pretty much like that. With me, if you don't see me personally, you know, what I walk even if you don't see me with my cane or anything, you really wouldn't know. You feel me? You'll probably see certain things, but you won't really think it's a disability. You feel me? So, like I said, I could kind of relate. Now... There was pretty much like they're they were saying like they were sad because uh you know a lot of people don't want to date them because of their disability and they were sad about it and you know I was listening to the video and I had to encourage them you know saying like you know me being disabled as well it's like the enemy try, try to put that thought in my mind too but immediately I cast it down and it's pretty much say what God says you I'm fearfully and wonderfully made and then. Second of all, I know I'm not being prideful, but I know I'm a beautiful person. It doesn't matter if I have a disability or not. At any day, I'm still beautiful. I can still do certain things. It, it doesn't matter. You feel me? And then, like I had to tell this person, like I didn't say it exactly like that, but pretty much, if a person does not want to date you with a disability, it's because of, they're not your person. It's not who God designed you with. Because if God designed you with somebody, they're not going to say, oh, this person got a disability. I don't want them. They don't care not about none of that. They don't want to see your disability. They ain't going to bring it up, put it in your face when they're mad, uh, nothing like that at all. You feel me? When God puts something together, you're not going to have to deal with that. So the person that they're the people that they're probably trying to, you know, want them to date them or be interested in them, it's not the people that God gets got for you. So you have to like seek God. And that's the same thing with me. If a person's not interested in me or you feel me, whether it's a disability or anything, at any day, I don't care because uh, they're not the people that person that God got for me. You feel me? I had to learn my worth. Like, sometimes they enemy try to put thoughts in my mind, like, you know, maybe this or maybe that. Uh-uh, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> and I just want to throw this in here, too. Um, I used to watch Lifetime a lot. I'm not tell you, telling y'all to watch Lifetime because Lifetime deal with a lot of lust and how people thinking, like, oh, they got to be in a relationship, a toxic relationship. That was a thing with me, too. It's like, listen, watching Lifetime and watching drama reality shows and stuff and wondering like oh I, I gotta be in a relationship too and this and that knowing goodness well it's not what God called me to you feel me but yeah a while ago I was watching a movie on Lifetime and this lady had some kids and I guess the man she was dating he um didn't like kids or he didn't want kids or something like that so this lady killed her kid I think she killed him she tried to kill him but if I'm not mistaken, I think she killed them just so she had that man. I'm not finna. Man, you got me messed up, boy. <laughs> you better go on, shoot. If you can't accept my kids, you can't accept my disability, you can't accept this and that. You ain't the person for me. Simple as that. Hold on, y'all. Yeah. If you can't accept my disability, my kids, or whatever, come, come with me, then... Bye-bye, good rentings. You feel me? Adios. See you later. Much later. <laughs> Shoot, I'm going to pray for you at the end of the day. You feel me? I'm not saying, like, if somebody got toxic traits and they need to change from it, and it's like, okay, I don't want to deal with that. Okay, then, I understand if a person don't want to deal with that. You feel me? You're toxic, whatever the case might be. But if it's something just so petty, you feel me? Then just go. Bounce. Leave. Dismiss yourself. You feel me? The same way with this person, other person that's disabled, they gotta have the same exact same mindset. It kind of like 
I ain't gonna say it broke my heart because I don't like to use that terminology, but it really, it really made me sad, you feel me, for them to feel that way because um, before I became disabled, I remember one of my friend guys, um, he was actually disabled, but you really, well, you could tell, but, okay, you could tell, but he, he, didn't, he didn't like present himself as disabled at all, you feel me, and I forgot the terminology he was saying, pretty much like would you date me or something he was saying but in my mind I was thinking like shoot I don't want to date you because you know you're like that but also I was thinking like okay I was thinking to myself like um the only reason I would date you if I was saying you before you became disabled and you know you got disabled then I'll stay with you because I'm the type of person just to, oh you're disabled now so I gotta leave you know people like that or just people like they want to leave when something bad happened, but when something good happened, it's they right in your corner. Nah, I don't want a person like that, and I don't want to be that person. But if I was never dating you, and then I just met you, you know, after the fact that you was disabled, it's like uh, I kind of want to deal with that. But I had to really realize once I became disabled, it's like that's shallow. You feel me? Like you shouldn't be like that. But at the end of the day, the person wasn't safe, so you feel me? It's, it, it, at the end of the day, I still did the right thing, <laughs> but still, the mindset that I had was like, okay, you're disabled, so I don't have to deal with that, but that's not right whatsoever, you feel me, but if somebody is turning you down, in case you're disabled, or whatever the case might be, they're not the person that God has for you, you have to be patient, you feel me, and I had to tell myself that too, because, yeah, for me, running behind people, or not literally running behind people, but you know what I mean. You feel me? Uh-uh. Like, since I got, got a sweet to me and tell me, don't you know your worth? Don't you know I credit you for more than this? You feel me? Uh-uh. And I'm telling this person the exact same thing. Or just anybody who's dealing with this. You feel me? Disabilities or just anything that they feel like, oh, this person's not going to date me because of this and that. If it's not toxicity... You feel me? Y'all not unequally yoked. Then don't care about what they say. At the end of the day, that's a whole bunch of people. Men and women that God will bless you with. And it's not to say, oh shoot, this person don't want me. So uh, next person don't want me. You feel me? Stop running to this and that person. I was that person like, once I got a relationship, okay, let me bounce back and get into another relationship. No, be patient and wait on God. And wait for God to give you that person because... All you're going to do is date the exact same person. They might have a different name, but it's going to be the exact same person, the exact same qualities. You feel me? So you're really not breaking free from that, that cycle. That cycle is just continuing on and on. So wait for what God got for you. Y'all have a blessed day.